Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, Pray for us. Saint Joseph, Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, Pray for us. San Roque, Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, Pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, this morning, we gather as the sacred assembly of the Lord around the table of the Eucharist of our Lord Jesus Christ. In this sacred assembly, we partake of the grace coming from our Lord Jesus. And so to prepare ourselves to celebrate this grace as a community, let us first acknowledge our sinfulness and ask the Lord for His pardon and strength. Lord Jesus, you healed the sick. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgave sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you gave yourself to heal us and bring us strength. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, protector of those who hope in you, without whom nothing has firm foundation, nothing is holy. Bestow in abundance your mercy upon us, and grant that with you as our ruler and guide, 
we may use the good things that pass in such a way as to hold fast even now to those that ever endure. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of Leviticus. The Lord said to Moses, These are the festivals of the Lord which you shall celebrate at their proper time with a sacred assembly. The Passover of the Lord falls on the 14th of the first month at the evening twilight. The 15th day of this month is the Lord's Feast of Unleavened Bread. For seven days you shall eat unleavened bread. On the first of these days, you shall hold a sacred assembly and do no sort of work. On each of the seven days, you shall offer an oblation to the Lord. Then, on the seventh day, you shall again hold a sacred assembly and do no sort of work. The Lord said to Moses, Speak to the children of Israel and tell them, When you come into the land which I am giving you and reap your harvest, you shall bring a sheaf of the first fruits of your harvest to the priests who shall wave the sheaf before the Lord, that it may be acceptable for you. On the day after the Sabbath, the priest shall do this. Beginning with the day after the Sabbath, the day on which you bring the wave offering shift, you shall count even full weeks, seven full weeks. And then on the day after the seventh week, the fiftieth day, you shall present the new cereal offering to the Lord. The tenth of this seventh month is the day of atonement, when you shall hold a sacred assembly and mortify yourselves and offer an oblation to the Lord. The fifteenth day of this seventh month is the Lord's Feast of Boots, which shall continue for seven days. On the first day, there shall be a sacred assembly, and you shall do no sort of work. For seven days, you shall offer an oblation to the Lord. And on the eighth day, you shall again hold a sacred assembly and offer an oblation to the Lord. On that solemn closing, you shall not sort of work. These, therefore, are the festivals of the Lord, on which you shall proclaim a sacred assembly and offer as an oblation to the Lord burnt offerings and cereal offerings, sacrifices and libations as prescribed for each day. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Sing with joy to God, our help. Sing with joy to God, our help. Take up a melody and sound the timbrel, the pleasant harp and the lyre. Blow the trumpet at the new moon, at the full moon, on our solemn feasts. Sing with joy to God, our help. For it is a statute in Israel, an ordinance of the God of Jacob, who made it a decree for Joseph when he came forth from the land of Egypt. Sing with joy to God our help. There shall be no strange God among you, nor shall you worship 
any alien god. I, the Lord, am your God, who led you forth from the land of Egypt. Sing with joy to God our help. Please stand. With you and with your spirit, a reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus came to his native place and taught the people in their synagogue. They were astonished and said, where did this man get such wisdom and mighty deeds? Is he not the carpenter's son? Is not his mother named Mary and his brothers James, Joseph, Simon, and Judas? Are not his sisters all with us? Where did this man get all this? And they took offense at him. But Jesus said to them, A prophet is not without honor except in his native place and in his own house. And he did not work many mighty deeds there because of their lack of faith. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, in our first reading today, we come into the book of Leviticus when God gave a sacred command to the people of Israel as they were preparing to enter the promised land. And the command of God is to hold festivals and to gather as a sacred assembly. Ang utos ng Panginoon sa mga taga-Israel ay magtipon kayo, gather together, and you will become a sacred assembly. Whenever you pray, Whenever you offer your sacrifice, you will not do it alone. You will not pray alone. You will pray as a sacred assembly. In Hebrew, they call this kahal, the assembly of God, the sacred assembly. And every time you pray, Every time you offer your sacrifice to God, you will gather as a sacred assembly in faith, in prayer. Kaya siguro tuwing umaga, nandito kayo, kapiling ng sacred assembly. And even those who are watching us online in this Mass, in this time of pandemic, we are still able to gather as an assembly. You become also a part of the assembly by watching this Mass online. This is to fulfill the command of God that we should gather as a sacred assembly. And whenever we gather as a sacred assembly of the Lord, in faith, we can do many things. In the first reading, whenever they gather as a sacred assembly, they praised God, 
they gathered the first fruits of their harvest and offered it to God. They also gathered the first fruits in order to share it with others. See, my dear brothers and sisters, whenever we gather together in faith, we are able to do many things because of God because we gather together in faith with God. The opposite is true in our gospel reading today. The people in the hometown of Jesus gathered together also in their synagogue. In Greek, the word synagogue means to meet together. Parehas na nangyari sa lumang tipan. They became an assembly. They gathered together as a synagogue to gather together, to meet together. But the people in our gospel reading today, they met together not in faith, but they gathered together to make chismis against Jesus. So, the reason of their gathering is not faith. The reason of their gathering is to take offense at Jesus. That is why, towards the end of our gospel passage today, Jesus was not able to make any mighty deed or miracle in his hometown because of their lack of faith. They gathered together, not in God, not in faith, but they gathered together for, for some other bad reason. My dear brothers and sisters, today and every day, whenever we celebrate the Mass, we fulfill this commandment of God. We gather together as a sacred assembly. We do not pray alone. We do not worship alone. We do not offer the sacrifice of the Mass alone. We gather as a sacred assembly of the Lord. And Jesus reminds us today that coming together does not mean that you are already a sacred assembly. Nagtitipon tayo, hindi ibig sabihin ay Sinusunod na natin ang utos ng Diyos. Sabi ni Jesus, magtipon kayo sa tamang dahilan, sa tamang paraan. At tayo ngayon ay nagtitipon. Sana lahat tayo nagtitipon ng may pananalig kay Jesus. At sinisiguro sa atin ni Jesus, kapag tayo ay nagtipon ng may pananampalataya, marami tayong magagawa. Pero kapag nagtipon tayo sa maling dahilan, kagaya sa Ebanghelyo, wala ring magagawa si Jesus. And so, this morning, my dear brothers and sisters, do not isolate yourself. We do not just pray here alone. We gather as a sacred assembly so that God can work in our community. Kapag pakiramdam nyo po ay nanghihina tayo, parang pakiramdam natin ay wala tayong nagagawa, kapag pakiramdam natin ay kulang na ang ating nagagawa, go back to the assembly, gather with your community, and in faith, the community will strengthen you again. Marami po akong naririnig ng mga kwento na ngayong panahon ng pandemic ay nagkaroon sila ng mga what we call small communities online. Halimbawa, tuwing Sabado, nagkikita-kita sila online, nagkakaroon ng Bible sharing or sharing of experiences at itong mga maliliit na virtual communities ang nagiging lakas nila para magpatuloy sa buhay, lalo na ngayong pandemic na ito. 
these sacred assemblies, although they may be smaller or virtual, can still become an occasion for Jesus to work His power in us. Sabi nga sa Ebanghelyo, whenever two or three are gathered in my name, there am I in their midst. And so, my dear brothers and sisters, I know God is happy with us this morning because we have gathered as His sacred assembly today. I hope that we have gathered with faith in Jesus. And we are assured that if we are gathered in faith, we can do many things. Amen. Please stand. Jesus was rejected by his own people. In faith, we accept him as our Lord and Savior. For every petition, let us say, Jesus, let our lives honor you. Jesus, let our lives honor you that the leaders of the church may speak the word with God, of God, with courage, and live it with conviction. Let us pray to the Lord. Jesus, Jesus let, let our, our lives, lives honor, honor you, that we may be strengthened to proclaim zealously and fearlessly the gospel message in our homes and neighborhood. Let us pray to the Lord. Jesus, let, let our, our lives honor you. That missionaries may be patient and not lose heart in sowing the message of God to unwelcoming places. Let us pray to the Lord. Jesus, Jesus let, let our, our lives honor you. That parents of handicapped children, those who care for the aged, and all those who are suffering at home or in the hospital may bear silent witness to the love of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Jesus, Jesus let, let our, our lives honor you. That God may comfort those who are mourning over the death of their loved ones. Let us pray to the Lord. Jesus, Jesus, let our lives honor you. Heavenly Father, we call on you with confidence to hear the prayers of the people gathered here in this sacred assembly. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, 
for our good and the good of all His Holy Church. Accept, O Lord, we pray, the offerings which we bring from the abundance of your gifts, that through the powerful working of your grace, these most sacred mysteries may sanctify our present way of life and lead us to eternal gladness. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. His death we celebrate in love, His resurrection we confess with living faith, and His coming in glory we await with unwavering hope. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end, we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, 
and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, and with Him, and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is Yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the Supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Brothers and sisters, the body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Please stand. Let us pray. We have consumed, O Lord, this divine sacrament, the perpetual memorial of the passion of your Son. Grant, we pray, that this gift, which he himself gave us with love beyond all telling, may profit us for salvation. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Once again, we are gently reminding everyone, uh, starting this Sunday, we are already beginning to uh, use the Stay Safe app for our contact tracing. Mas mabilis po ito para sa ating lahat. Hindi na po kayo magsusulat sa mga papel tuwing kayo ay magsisimba dito sa Manila Cathedral. All you have to do is go to their website, staysafe.ph, and register. You will just enter your cell phone number and also some personal details and your health declaration. Isang beses nyo lang ko gagawin ito sa registration. And then you will be given a personal QR code. Yan po ang itsura niyan. No? Kapag nakita niyo sa screen at yung pangalan niyo po ay nandyan rin, ibig sabihin that will be your personal QR code. Please save this on your cell phone or have it printed on a small piece of paper. And every time you come here to the Manila Cathedral for Mass, you will just scan it uh, through our security staff at yun na po yung ating contact tracing. Mas mabilis at mas efficient because this is also used by our national government for more a more efficient contact tracing, especially as we continue to live uh, in this uh, pandemic. So please share to your friends and loved ones so that we could all register to staysafe.ph. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless all of you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth. The Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Oh,